السلام عليكم السلام عليكم How are you? First of all, I would like to thank Almighty Allah for treating us and this amazing world. Then I would like to thank our honorable teacher Milan sir and others for giving for giving us uh, a chance to say something in front of you. Uh, dear students, I know you have completed a long course in English. Right? Yes. We have completed a course. Yes. So, today I will talk about English. You know, English is an important and international language. Right? Yes. yes. Why not? Why is it called international language? It is called international language because it is the most widely used language in the world. Okay? Dear yes. students, If you don't know English, however excellent you are, you will not get much success in your life. You may have excellent figure, you may be tall, you may be so beautiful, but it is not uh, so important for getting a good job, for getting a, a better, for getting better salary, or for going to best position, top position in your company. So. Uh, you have to learn English. Dear students, coming world is a very challenging, very challenging. If you want to face this challenge, you have, you have, you must have computer knowledge. You must uh, have a good command in English. If you want to learn English properly, you must achieve four things in English, and they are reading, writing, speaking, and listening. Dear students, now I will talk about these four things. Number one, reading. To develop your reading capacity, you have to read your textbooks again and again with meaning. You have to read storybooks written in English. You have to read English newspapers daily. During reading this, you have to mark some important words. Then you have to note down in your diary. Then look up this meaning of this meaning of, the meaning of this word in dictionary. Then you memorize it every day. Okay. Then comes writing. Every day you have to write something. Every day you have to write something. For this, you have to learn some rules of grammar. And according to these rules, you have to practice every day for build up yourself. Okay? Then comes listening. To develop your listening capacity, you have to listen English news. You have to listen to BBC, CNN, Al Jazeera, and so on. You have to uh, listen English songs, English videos. Ah, you have to practice this regularly. Remember that you have to listen it until it understands. You have to listen again and again to uh, until understand it because it is very important uh, uh, without understanding meaning you cannot respond others so you have to listen it again and again okay yes yes then comes speaking you know it is very important to develop your speaking capacity you have to speak daily you you have to speak regularly You can take a partner for practicing speaking. Remember that while learning English, we don't use mother tongue. Actually, mother tongue is not very helpful for our professional life. Don't use it when you learn or you uh, practice English. You can use it at home 
But how do you have to speak English uh, with your colleagues, with your friends, and so on? Remember that while well, learning English, we don't use mother tongue. We will use it at home. But our, we must use speaking English. Okay? You can say, Sir, uh, I make mistake while I speak English. Don't worry. None could achieve anything in this world without learning mistake. None could achieve anything in this world without mistake. Make hundred mistakes, make thousand mistakes. While you speak English, one day your mistake will disappear. So, uh, don't take this seriously. Rather, speak English again and again. Speak English with your friends. Speak English with your colleagues. Okay. Dear students, shadowing is another important thing. What is shadowing? Shadowing means helping someone. If you want to learn better English, you have to copy a native speaker. You can follow uh, a lecture of a native speaker again and again to learn better English. Remember that you should give importance on prose, stress, accent, or intonation. To learn better English. Dear students, you have seen ornament. We use it. Yeah. We means not I am, not there, you. You know ornaments made of gold. It is very beautiful. It gives us pleasure because it glitters always. And it is valuable also. But you don't know how many times it had to burn to give you pleasure. You don't know how many times it had to burn to give you pleasure. So you have to burn. You have to burn if you want to learn English. Thank you very much.